Hey guys, and welcome back. If you're new here, I'm Joe Kristoff. Nice to meet you. I'm a fan of everything creepy and spooky. And if you do enjoy the video, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. So in today's episode, we're going to be talking about another one of my all-time favorite urban legends, the story of Robert the Doll in Key West, Florida. So for those of us that have had the pleasure of actually going down to Key West and visiting it, it is a crazy place. From the beaches to the snorkeling to the nightlife, it's got everything, including a few haunts. This story actually dates to the early 1900s. Now the kid that was given this toy's name is actually Eugene Robert Otto. I hope I'm saying that right. Eugene's parents were one of the wealthiest couples on the island of Key West. They lived in a large, beautiful house that still stands today. Now if you're ever down there and you wanna check it out, I actually have the address for you. Uh, let's see, it is 534 Eaton Street. His parents had a lot of servants at the house. One of them really, really loved Eugene. I mean, I'm sure that they all loved him, but this lady really, really loved him, and she was apparently from the Bahamas. Now, in my research, I've looked at a couple of different stories here with this, but um, one of the stories states that this servant was having an affair with the father, the wife must have found out or something, and they were trying to get her out of the house. Now, another article claims that this servant practiced black magic and somehow the family stumbled into this. And when they did, they wanted her out of the house. I mean, it could have been both things. She could have been having an affair with the father, not sure. But apparently she was practicing black magic. Now, before she left the house, she went up to Eugene, who she loved very much, and handed him a doll. And this doll just looks creepy. Take a look at it. Eugene decided to name the doll Robert. Now when she gave him this doll, she told him that if he treated the doll with respect, that he would be a very powerful friend in his life, that it would help bring wealth and abundance and all of that good stuff. But a femme the doll and him and the family and five generations after would suffer hardships and loss. I mean, I kind of be like, keep the doll, keep it then. I don't want it. <laughs> Now it didn't take long before weird stuff started happening in their house. Eugene claimed that he woke up in the middle of the night and saw the doll sitting at the bottom of his bed looking at him. Eugene screamed, he was freaking out, and his parents heard him. Now when the parents finally got to the door, it had been locked. It took them a while to break the door down, but they eventually did. When they did, they went in and saw Eugene at the top of his bed, curled up, crying, and Robert the doll at the end of the bed. And that's not even the scariest part. Apparently, his room was in shambles. It had been torn apart. His explanation to this when they asked was, Robert did it. This would become something that was said over and over again over the years. The parents reported that sometimes they could hear Eugene up in the bedroom talking to Robert with a completely different voice responding back to him. Can you imagine that? They also reported that late at night, they could hear little feet running around upstairs. Eugene could not be separated from Robert. The parents begin getting a little bit concerned with this, as most would. They decide to take Robert away from Eugene. Eugene starts freaking out, throwing stuff all over the bedroom. It got to a point where the parents were actually concerned with his physical well-being, so they brought him to the hospital. No matter what they did, they could not stop this kid from freaking out. So his mom decides to go get Robert. They bring it into the hospital, and as soon as Robert is in Eugene's lap, it all stopped. Now Eugene and Robert had a lasting lifetime friendship. He never got rid of him. Even after he got married, he still wanted Robert in the house. Upon moving in, Eugene decides that Robert needs his own bedroom. So they give him the upstairs guest bedroom and they prop him up in a rocking chair. I would imagine when him and his wife were just starting their lives in this house, they could hear weird things upstairs happening, reporting that, you know, they could still hear footsteps when there was nobody else in the house, that kind of thing. The wife was creeped out and I don't blame her. Now I'm guessing Eugene's wife gave him an ultimatum. Robert needs to go or we need to lock him in the attic. 
Eugene listened, obviously, so Robert was put up in the trunk in the attic and they locked it. One article claims that when visitors would come to their house when Eugene and his wife were entertaining or whatnot, they would hear weird noises coming from the attic, like pacing back and forth, and some even claimed to hear evil laughter. I would be out the door. Even the neighborhood children claimed that when they would be passing by the house headed to school, that they would look up into the second floor room and see Robert staring at them from the window. Some children even reported that Robert would mock them as they walked by the house. As soon as Eugene heard this, Obviously, he wanted to go and investigate it, so he goes upstairs to check for Robert. He goes to the attic and Robert is not there. They start investigating around the other parts of the house and Robert is finally found upstairs in the guest bedroom, sitting in the chair by the window. Robert is then taken out of the bedroom and put right back in the attic again. But apparently, this happened over and over and over again through the years. Eugene finally passed away in 1974. The house was put up for sale, sold pretty quickly, and a new family decided to take residence on Eaton Street. This family had a 10-year-old daughter. Now, when they were going through some of the leftover stuff up in the attic, they found Robert. At first, she was really excited to have this new little friend. But things took a turn pretty quickly, I think. She started claiming that Robert was alive and that he wanted to hurt her. She would often be heard sometimes screaming and freaking out in her bedroom late at night. When the parents would get in there, she would say that Robert had been moving around the room all by himself. It wasn't long before Robert was given away. It's believed that the cause of all of this in the first place comes from the servant who gave the doll to the young boy in the first place. Like I said, she was accused of black magic and witchcraft, and she probably put some kind of a hex or a voodoo curse on this doll to make the family's lives a nightmare for firing her. Now, to those of you who are really interested in it, you can actually go visit Robert the doll. He's at the Fort East Martello Museum in Key West. After he left the house on Eaton Street, the craziness did not stop. There has been many, many weird things that have happened at this museum. Now it's recommended when you go to visit Robert that you do not take a picture of him without asking permission politely. A lot of people laugh at this and decide to take their pictures and you know, don't say a word to the little guy. And a lot of bad things happen. Apparently these people claim that uh, anything from illness to car accidents to divorce, all sorts of bad things happen to these people after not respecting Robert's wishes. Museum staff claim that late at night sometimes they can hear weird and evil laughter coming from the room that Robert's in. Some even claim that they have seen his facial expressions change. You know, I think I actually really want to go to this museum and check it out. Well, that about wraps it up. So what do you think? Do you think that Robert really is possessed and evil? Or do you think it's just a bunch of bull crap? Let me know in the comments. And like I said before, if you're new, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I truly appreciate it. Oh, and one more thing, YouTube, stay creepy.